Hello, hi, I'm Patricia McNeely. How's everybody today? I hope you're doing well. Today I'm going to talk to you about July's energies. And it's going to be an energy where it starts to feel like you've hit the accelerator. Now, this is going to be something that everybody feels, whether they are aware of, quote, twin flame stuff or not. Even if you've turned your back on, quote, twin flames or on a person and you're not sure if that's your person, don't even bother anymore. What you need to start focusing on is your body. The physical body will start to want to get things out that just don't belong there. But this is going to throw people off. So that's what I want to talk to you about is you're at a turning point. This is going to feel very much as though there's several retrogrades, not just a Mercury retrograde coming up here, but feels like additional retros. I can't sugarcoat a lot of the stuff that you're going to experience because I've already experienced it and it's not fun. However, there is a silver lining and there's another thing to know. You can't be passive about this anymore. It's time to get proactive. It's time to engage. It's time to stop getting the old types of things that you've been getting. It's time to address anything that's needed addressing and it's going to be time to clean up all of your houses. Now this is not a new message, but the message is there for those of you who've heard the message and you've decided to ignore it or somehow it doesn't apply to you. It's going to apply to a lot of people. July has traditionally brought in energies for revolutionary change. Okay, but I say this, forget about a revolution. Gain your independence. You do that through your body. Now, a lot of people are feeling this energy that is very constrictive. You don't know where to turn. You'd like to be able to call someone. You, you wish that your twin would somehow just pick you up and get you out of here. And it doesn't work that way. You'd like it to, but it just doesn't. The twin flame is more than just a human person also. It encompasses, and not it, you, you and that person are enveloped with your subtle bodies. That's another thing that's not understood. So this is one of the differences where you're going to see sort of this split that happens with what's out there. Some people are going to try to continue to get answers in old ways. And I say to you, engage your body. Let me help you with your body. This turning point is going to be quite radical for many people. And as I have felt it from last year, towards the end of last year in 2018, I knew that the latter part or the latter half of 2019 was going to be very light and lovely for a lot of people who I was working with at, you know, by the end of 2018. It didn't show up. They had a lot of bumpiness around the December solstice. However, if you have not lifted a finger, you're going to have to lift a finger. And if you're doing old things, you're going to find that things from the old paradigm no longer serve you, can't help you, and gradually seem to diminish its effects on you. Why? Because everything is restructured, rerouted. You may not know how prevalent this is, but you will see it with areas of your life. And where you'll see it is in areas having to do with your health, your heart. You're going to feel it in the lower area. You may feel very crampy in your hips. And as though there's a constant ache there. And you may wonder, what is that all about? Not only do I know what it's about, I help to get it shifted. I run classes and webinars all the time, which are always available to you. They're always available as a recording afterwards as well. So even if you miss one, you can still get the recording. Now, what is some of this retro energy for? For the people who've done a majority of their work, if you have kicked it into high gear prior to this, what you're going to find is that those things that roll around again that you've wanted suddenly show up, okay? 
For those of you who have delayed and delayed and put it off and procrastinated, it's going to rear its ugly head again, whatever it is, whether it's issues with kids, financial things, there's going to be a lot of financial house cleaning. I mean, that is just no joke. And it is in your best interest to use your budget wisely towards some of this. And pay attention to this part. Start focusing on the body because that is the body you're going to have carrying forward. So either way you slice it, sometimes you wind up spending something on something, okay? And I hear people, it's amazing how people have money for, you know, certain things, but they don't have money for other things. There is a wise way to spend the money on yourself where a little bit goes a long way. And that is what I am proposing to you. Spend a little bit on yourself so that it can take you through the next season, so that it can take you through the next several weeks. Because come July 15th, things are going to happen that really start to ramp things up. Okay, it's getting hot in here. Yeah, how hot is it in Europe? What about that heat wave? I know a lot of people are feeling it. We're starting to feel it here, but we've had several quantum jumps here that carry us back and forth into the seasons. What are you doing to address some of the things from your past so that you don't carry it into your union? Well, like it or not, your body is going to take over on some of this stuff. But that's where it gets weird. That's where it gets honestly weird, where you develop inflammations or fungal infections or rashes, or suddenly there's a lump or a fibrous tissue. And it's not always the person's fault. But as the past wells up, it's important to address it properly. The past has a connection on your subtle bodies. Your body needs to open additional channels. And that is also what I want to talk to you about. So the turning point that I'm talking about is, you know, some people might say, whew, we're out of the woods. Well, maybe you're just entering the woods and you don't know it. And I'm not here to scare you. I'm actually here to give you the confidence to not give up and to continue to take charge of what you can take charge of on any given day. I talk to a lot of people and almost everyone has some kind of physical thing or past life deformity that they are getting rid of. There are events in past history too that have affected large numbers of people. For example, events during World War II that have affected vast amounts of people in Europe, vast amounts of people that are from certain ethnic or racial groups also. What are you going to do about that? Are you going to re-up again for the same karma, or are you going to find out how to not only get rid of it, but to elevate yourself and to find out how to maintain Okay, because that is an entirely new thing. Maintaining your light body is not going to be fourth dimensional. It's entirely new. So you may think that, well, if I just eat right, that means all different kinds of things for different people. For some people, it means paleo. For other people, it means vegan. For other people, it means lacto-ovo-vegetarian. For other people, it means anything they want and they work their butts off at the gym and they smoke, and they drink. All these things are going to have an effect on each other. So you can take a couple, and they will shove their stuff back and forth to each other because you know what? They are disallowed, and those mechanisms where they could go dump it on other people doesn't happen. But nor are you here to dump it on each other. So what happens? It wells up and it starts to seize up the body, okay? So for example, if someone has a twin flame who smokes or smokes uh, anything really, any kind of inhalant, it could be even working in say an auto shop where they're breathing paint fumes and car exhaust fumes, that is going to have an effect on the other person's respiratory system. 
So I'm not kidding when I'm telling you this is about the body. How many things have added up in all along here? And the real thing that you're really here for is your template. You have a template of relationships. Okay, so the new template of relationship from 5D is actually a new thing. It is not old paradigm. It's not even a paradigm. Paradigm implies the very word itself means a context for some type of learning. You shouldn't have to learn any karma anymore. In fact, the more that you ditch people that are trying to put you through the same patterns, the better off you're going to be. And it's a misconcept out there that people have to tolerate bad behavior from someone who supposedly is their twin. And it's also a um, misinformation to believe that someone is your twin because of, you know, those things that says like, well, they always run away. Well, soulmates run away too. Well, they always hurt you. Well, a lot of people hurt you. Well, they always do this. They always push you to your own growth. For a majority of people, that growth started the minute that something started activating on you. You went in search of what is this stuff all about. The minute you started searching, it's on. You're not going to be able to get rid of it. No matter if you think you're stopping, you already opened the door. You already started the process. So many of you are beginning the first elevation. There are several elevations. This involves other parts of you. It involves subtle body connections that have never been before available. It should involve learning how to get your channels open. The breath work is different than what you've been taught. The parts of your body that you're elevating are different than what you've been taught as well. So many people are in a position where their head's here and their hips are over there, okay, or, and where's their heart, okay, and they're feeling like a split person. I heard songs earlier, and I love some of the lyrics. You got a case of the love bipolars, okay, singers know about some of this stuff. They may not be saying, hey, twin flames, but they do know what happens when love relationships go awry when things happen and how it feels. I should have seen just what was there and not some holy light. How many of you could say that? I think I should have seen what was there with that person and not believed that they are some holy light, you know, blasting out of their butthole or any other part of them, okay, because they turned into a jerk. How many of you could really honestly say that? Now, you don't have to say it to me, okay? Are you going to feel like, you know, somehow this is eluding you or failing you? It's not. You're simply coming up to the end of the old paradigm. And these July energies are here to help get you properly into position so that you can start to learn the body. There is a major retrograde happening which is going to propel people all the way through another season change. And this has to be a turning point for you. What does the turning point mean? It means turn your focus. Turn your focus onto you. Do something healthy for you. I have several sessions, several sessions, and I have my book. My book has so much good information for you. Your Subtle Body Connections, okay? My books are copyrighted. They're recognized by the Library of Congress. There's several topics. Look in the description below. So if we have a couple and they have many things that have been happening with them, okay? He likes to relax, but he works really hard at his chosen profession. But then when he's home, he has trouble turning it off. In fact, so much that her gut hurts, okay? But they are trying to pull away. And what happens, she can feel it on parts of her body. There's starting to be certain spots 
that are showing up? Are they cysts? Is it fibrous tissue? What is it? It's part of the breakaway. But it actually started a long time ago. It's just actually starting now to make sense. And she's saying to herself, I can't live like this. I can't. This is too intense. You're intense. Look, I have a really hard job, okay? You're a micromanager. I have to manage everything. What if someone drops something through the cracks? What if something falls through the cracks? It's on my watch. It's on my watch. Don't you understand that? But it, you're hurting. It hurts. I can feel the tension. You give me a stomach ache. It's not me giving you a stomach ache. It's not. It's, I don't know, maybe in your imagination. Honey, I love you. I'm trying to build for our future. I'm trying to build something here. I know, but at what cost? I don't know. This isn't what I imagine. Well, we imagined being together, didn't we? I just, I don't know why you're always so upset. I just, there's something going on with me. Oh my God, what does she have? What's going on with her? What is going on with this woman I love? Okay, and what if they're not together, but they can sense each other? What if you're sensing things across the miles and there's something wrong and alarm bells are going off in you, okay? And we get through the solstice and you're kind of saying, whew, but then somehow the intensity picks up again. It's going to make you wonder. And what I can tell you is doing this and saying, what's going on over there? What? what? I, I, I felt something. You better make damn sure that that's actually your person. Otherwise, that's something that there is a better, more expeditious, more efficient way to handle it. You're not going to accomplish things with conversation. You accomplish it with your body, with your subtle bodies and learning how to engage them properly. Now, I have another thing to say to you. Not only do I have information in my books, I do what is called a causal body session to move your energy. This is specific. I have helped people move several things with this session. They've moved their abundance. What does that mean? I mean, how does it translate? A lot of people say, well, hey, uh, my abundance. Okay, are you just talking about money? Because in the higher realms, abundance isn't just money. Money is a modicum of exchange. I expect that type of exchange. Yes, I do. Does that mean that I never, you know, help or help with people about that? Of course I do. Okay, do I have a budget? Yes, I have a budget. Am I a single mom? Yes, I'm a single mom. Okay, I'm not playing the single mom card though. What I'm saying to you is, I have a high dimensional way of helping. If you can't get yourself there, it's well worth it for you because of what you're staving off, okay? What are you staving off or preventing by participating in something like this? Either way, it is money well spent. I get great feedback on the things that I'm able to help people with. And that is where we focus. We focus on what you need right now and what you need over the next several weeks, okay? You will still be with your twin flame, okay? You could do it five years from now, or you can start doing it in this year like many people have already started. And that is not something that I'm promising to you. That is something I'm saying you're already connected regardless. So find out how to shed the things that need shedding let me help you clear these areas that have kept things in place or kept things stunted, okay? I gave you some examples in another video, but I'll say it again. If this gentleman has a boss that's hammering at him, hammering at him and saying, give me the numbers, show me the numbers, okay? Show me the numbers. It's become a numbers game, okay? Numbers. How many of you people love numbers? Ooh, 717. Ooh, 54321. Ooh, 111. 
What do those all mean? Well, they're people like other kind of numbers. Show me the numbers, okay? And there has to be a proper balance because there's a way to get numbers, okay, and still have time for each other. And the way is up here, okay? It's by engaging the template of 5D relationship. Template of relationship from 5D, whatever way you want to say it. It's a brand new template. And yes, it includes shedding the past. So that is the first part that we focus on. How you would create, because abundance is your health, your well-being, your ability to maintain that. Okay, if you don't have those two things, you're not going to be able to maintain anything, much less yourself. Healthy relationships to everything. And I'm going to say something else here. If you're serious about your ascension, stop drinking. Okay, stop drinking and drugging. Just to the point where everyone is so happy that, you know, some of this stuff is more widely available. Okay, you could go to any microbrewery, talk, talk about, you know, uh, winter wheat ales and Belgian ale and lagers. And yeah, it's all fun. You're slicing and dicing the same thing. It's all alcohol, and it will all have the same effect on the body. However, if alcoholism runs in your family, it is advisable to you, knock it off. Stop. If one of you has to do that, okay, you need to come and see me because these are patterns that are sustained through the old connections, and it makes it very challenging. What are some of the other things? Getting your own projects up and running. A lot of people uh, can't feel the timing of things. They can't feel what it is they're supposed to do. They can't, they have no way knowing how to set it up, keep it going. And you're not knowing how to have a proper work play balance. Okay. It's fine and dandy to look at a lot of spiritual leaders and say, well, how, how, how are they doing it? How are they, you know, what's going on there, okay? They still have the same challenges. In fact, a lot of them have not properly played in a long time. Playing isn't just going to be sexual with people, nor is it drinking and carousing. That's not really how um, elevated play is, okay? What else does it include? It includes your family and your grid structure, okay? And you might say, well, I have no family. Some people want a family. Some people don't have a family. Some people have an adopted family. Some people have a family of their own choosing. Some people want a family. Some people are very prepared to have a blended family where you are engaging someone else's children, okay? And are you intended to feel like broken parents? No, no, that's not what this is all about. So how would you create the proper connections to really support this? Where's the support coming from? It's coming from a level that you may or may not have connected to. And the majority of people, it's only just opening up, you know, once we got through the solstice. That's not a criticism on anyone's part. The majority of people have been sort of standing in God's waiting room waiting. Okay, that's one of the things that you may perceive that you're waiting for. So have a session with me. Try my book or both. I do recommend it. Very good information in my book. Look at the links down below. Look at the links for my upcoming webinars and classes because this is going to go on into 2020 for a lot of people. Are you interested in doing this kind of work? Great. Write to me, or if you're not sure what you need, write me at twinflamesmerge at gmail.com. I don't do the kind of readings other people do. The entire focus is on you, and furthermore, I'm not going to you know, tell you. I want to bring it out of you. You need to shed some stuff so that you can bring out your best and your potential. You're here to be in love. Being in love is getting to that next elevated level. 
Do you want an elevated station in life without any of the class structure that we've been accustomed to? Everybody has. There's people that, you know, somehow we all need, have needed a hierarchy. There's no hierarchy, but we can still feel the past. So are you ready to get to that elevated place? Okay, there's three elevations minimum for couples. And so what you do is ask your twin flame for the means to do what you need to do. Just ask. And then take the actions and schedule because it will show up for you. And then you'll really be able to make some quantum leaps. Okay. Thank you very much for watching. I will be back with more because there is going to be more. We've got uh, another major portal coming up here that is going to, you know, be something that kind of throws people off and I'm going to be talking about it. But don't wait, okay? Get going on this because you'll be glad you did. Thank you. Bye.